All right, folks. Uh, I'm sitting here. We're listening to Elder Mary. He's talking about Geno Jennings. You know about when Geno Jennings said he did more work than Jesus. Well, really, Geno Jennings was saying he did more work than the Son of God. And Geno Jennings got that from Bishop S. C. Johnson because Bishop S. C. Johnson said that he did more work than the Son of God. All right, he did more work than the Son of God. He was talking about the flesh and blood man. He didn't talk about the spirit. And all he did, he, he compared himself to doing more work than the Son of God when it comes to baptizing people. I think he said Jesus baptized about 120. And he said, I baptized more. So he did greater works than the Son of God when it's touching the baptism. He ain't talking about no other thing. All this and all that, because there, there's scriptures that said there's many other words that Jesus did that if it was written, there wasn't no book con contain it. So he was talking about the baptism. That's what he was talking about. He baptized more than Jesus. Like I said, Jesus only baptized about 120. All right, but I'm going I'm to play this. But remember, Elder Mary said he knew your thoughts so far off. So he's comparing himself with God. Because the Bible said only God knows the thoughts of the of the uh, uh, the children of men, only God knows the thoughts of the children of men. But Elder Mary said, "I know your thoughts are far off." So he did. He you know he he compared himself with God. But I'm gonna let y'all go on here what he got to say. With it, because I believe it. It's more y'all. He came along, my God, after choosing them apostles. Then he go Mark sixteen fifteen. Now he's fixing to give him a charge. He been talking now. My God, he done told him, I'm going to my father. He chose, my God, the, all the apostles. My God, now he's fixing to tell them what to do. Mark 16, 15. What did it say, Brace? Said? And he said unto them. What did he say to them? Go ye into all the world. All the world. And preach the gospel to every creature. Y'all gonna do greater works. I'm going to my father. Y'all take this thing to all the world. It's more of y'all. Amen. Not one time did that scripture mean that a man a um, single man gonna go out here and do more work than Jesus Christ. No, sir. It did not mean that. All right, folks, I had to stop that right there to show you that this hypocrite didn't know what he was talking about. When Jesus sent his disciples into the world, said, go ye into all the world, that was not the only begotten Son of God. That was not the Son of God at all. That was God himself. Oh, but wait a minute, Peter. He said, my father. Yes. The same way as God was the father of his own body, now he also was the father of that manifestation. All right? But that, if you notice, I, I challenge anybody to show me where uh, after God uh, raised that body up and changed it from a natural body to a spiritual body and appeared in that flesh and bone body after Thomas called it my Lord and my God, show me where he called himself the son of God, like he did before he went to the cross. Now, when he went to the cross, they was all calling him the son of God, the son of God, the son of God, the son of man, and all that, the son of David. Show me after he appeared to them in that flesh and bone body that he was ever called the son of God, the son of man, the son of David. You're not going to find it because he wasn't. It was just a manifestation. That was it. So God was the same way as God was the father of his own flesh and blood body. He also was the father of that manifestation. Anytime God creates something, he becomes the father of it. All right. So I had to throw that in there for, for the record because a lot of y'all don't get it. That was just a manifestation that appeared to the disciples after, after the cross. All right. It wasn't the son of God. The son of God only consisted of flesh and blood. This hypocrite like to go back where uh, they talks about the son of God before he died. I agree with that. He was the son of God. Then when he talked about it, he gonna, you'll see when he talk about the devils, you know, when the devil say we know who you are about the Christ. Uh, yes, I agree with that. That's what was before he was put to death. He was the son of God. He was Christ. And Christ also means God. This Christ is a spirit. All right. So let's go. Here we go. Don't let the devil make a fool out of you. Well, it made a fool out of you, though, buddy. Did more work than Jesus Christ. Okay. 
They want to compare themselves to Jesus Christ? Let's help them. Give me Mark, Grace, in 123. I right, see so he's going to Mark 1. They want to compare themselves to Jesus Christ. That's what Let's he, help them do it. That's when he was the Let's son of God. Let's help them do it. Watch this. Let's do a comparison. Let's put them on the scale and put Jesus Christ on the scale. My God, let's weigh them in the balance. Mark 1, verse, start at verse 23. What happened, son? And there was in the synagogue a man with an unclean spirit. What did he have, Brace? An unclean spirit. And where was he at? In the synagogue. And what did he have, Brace? An unclean spirit. Read it, Brace. And he cried out. The man cried out, saying, let us alone. Let us alone. What have we to do with thee, thou Jesus of Nazareth? What have we to do with thee, who? Thou Jesus of Nazareth. He got an unclean spirit, but he know who he talking to. Amen. Read it, Brace. Art thou come to destroy us? Art thou come to destroy us? I know thee who thou art. I know thee who thou art. The Holy One of God. You God the Father. The Holy One of God. So even the devil know. Amen. You're the Holy One of God. Read it, Brace. And Jesus rebuked him. Uh -uh. Jesus grabbed it. <laughs> Jesus rebuked him. <laughs> Come on, Satan. Okay. All right. <laughs> All right, folks. That is funny, though, right? And then, so he, that's when he was making fun of Geno Janice when Geno Janice was calling out, uh, you know, casting devils out of that guy. All right. I mean, that is funny, though, you know. Uh, so he's making fun of Geno Janice. And my mistake with Geno Janice is when Geno Janice says, uh, I enjoyed the, the uh, uh, come out of him as uh, that uh, 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 the one that uh, uh, Paul preached, you know. But you know, the uh, the false prophets are the one that said that when they were trying to cast the demons out, and they said uh, Jesus we know and Paul we know, but who are they? I think they was called the seven sons of Stephen's. Well, they were trying to cast. They said we enjoyed thee to come out whom Paul preached. And, and uh, Gino said that, and I said, whoa, you know, like, you know, that's the false prophet said that. But, you know, Elder Mary here is making fun of him, you know. Uh, all right, just like when Gino uh, made fun of Elder Mary about having dreams about him, you know. So he was, <laughs> and he had, Elder Mary had a lot of dreams about him and stuff like that. So he said, what a, what a, a man doing having dreams about another man, you know. So you know, they're going at it. Both of them are false. I'm just gonna I'm gonna tell you straight up. Both of them, I got both of them preaching errors, and, and they both false. I got I got I got a lot of their errors being po you know I posted a lot of them, and I got some in my archives. So both of them preach errors. They both false prophets. But as you can see, uh, where I made a comment, I guarantee y'all, if y'all go down to y'all comment section, you're not gonna see mine's on it because he got me blocked. And the question I, I asked him, I said John 16 and 10. And, and then Jesus said, a righteousness because I go to my father and you see me no more. And I said, question, what part of the son of God we not going to see no more? All right. So I asked that to a lot of so-called son of God now believers. I asked them, what part of the son of God we not going to see no more. When Jesus said, I go to the father and you see me no more. All right. And the answer to that is we're not going to see him no more as flesh and blood. And that's the only thing he consisted of. The Bible said no more to return to corruption. He'll no more to turn to something that could corrode or decay. And that body of uh, flesh and blood that he had on, that was the only, only begotten son of God. So for him to be the son of God now, he will have to be the same way he was down here when Mary gave birth to him, which was flesh and blood with a natural breath of life. So you'll never see him, uh, God, put on that body anymore. God's not going to come down here and take on flesh and blood like he did before. So, you know, so what's up there now is a manifestation. And that's what went to uh, heaven according to 1 Timothy 3.16 when it says, it, it was talking all about God. Great is the mystery. See, this is a great mystery. Elder Mary don't know nothing about this mystery and neither do no other ones that believe that there's a son of God in heaven now. I mean, they can sit right there and read it and deny it. It said, great is the mystery of godliness. God was manifest in the flesh, yes. And uh, God was a uh, scene of angels. When was God a scene of angels? When he, uh, 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 no, no. God was manifested and justified in the spirit. When was God justified in the spirit? When he went and got baptized by John and the voice from heaven said, this is my beloved son whom I'm well pleased. I right? said, uh, was seen of angel. When was God seen of angel? When he fasted 40 days and 40 nights and the angels ministered unto him. Uh, priest, uh, believe no, priest unto the Gentile, believe on in the world. And guess what? It was God that was received up. 
into glory, not the Son of God. It was God. That's why when Thomas is examined that body, he said, my Lord and my God. Like I said, I challenge anybody to go find where he was ever called the Son of God, Son of Man, Son of David. When he stayed down here in that flesh and bone body uh, for about 40 days. He stayed in here in about 40 days before he went up. All right. So, uh, like I said, uh, check out where it says uh, the rock all true 64. When I gave him John 16 and 10 of uh, righteousness, because I go to the father and you see me no more. Uh, I dared him to answer that. But let's go on. Finish. But <laughs> this is funny when he's making fun of Geno Jennings. Uh, when he was casting out the devil, so that's what he's doing. <laughs> come out, Satan! Satan! Satan, I'm asking you to come out. Go negotiate with the devil. I'm asking you to come out. No, come sir. out! Come out! No, sir. It, 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 come out by Jesus that Paul preached. No, sir. You know the one Paul preached. <laughs> Those, uh, you see that 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 at the, the sons of seven sons of Stephen he, said he that, didn't, he didn't, that he you didn't know, do all that. No, sir. So and Jesus Jesus, rebuked you know, him. He Jesus rebuked him, that. saying, "Hold thy peace, hold thy peace, and come out of come out of him." And when the unclean spirit had torn him, when and the cried, unclean spirit had torn him and did what? Cry with a loud voice. Bam! He came out of him. He did. He came out of him. Go over there and sit down. Y'all take him over there and set him down. <laughs> He came out of oh, him. Oh, he came out. He came out he of him. He ain't tell somebody to go sit down. No, sir. Go resist. Just resist. <laughs> just resist. Do you understand? You just go over there and resist. No, sir. And you want to, y'all want to compare this man to Jesus Christ? Are y'all that blind? Are you that blind and deceived? Y'all hate me much as you want. Hate me. The Lord sent me to help open your eyes. All right, folks, you heard he said he was sent to do exactly what he's doing. What, to lie? Yep, that's what he was sent for. Because the Bible said many false prophets shall rise and deceive many. And that's what he was sent for. He wasn't sent by God to tell the truth. Because uh, Jeremiah told Hananiah, told Hananiah, God did not send you Hananiah because you caused the people to trust in a lie. Just one lie. That goes to tell you that God didn't call or sent you. Because you caused the people to trust in an elder man, causing the people to trust in many lies. I got many lies on this man. Geno Jennings causing the people to trust in many lies. I got many lies on him. So, uh, elder man, no, God did not send you uh, to deliver the people. God sent you to deceive, you know, because you're the false prophet that he says shall deceive many. So you are the false prophet is deceived many. Now remember, he's making fun of Geno, but don't forget, Elder Mary, I got a video where you said that you know their thoughts are far off. So you comparing yourself with God. Skip the son of God. You went straight to God because only God knows the thoughts of the sons of, uh, the sons of men. And when, even though Jesus was God himself manifested in the flesh, that's why he knew the, what they were thinking. So, you know, the Son of God was God with a, a, a manifested in the flesh. In other words, the Son of God was God with a body on. God is a spirit. All right. So here we go. Let's fin finish on. A soldier. I'm a soldier. My God, I'm a soldier on the battlefield for the Lord. And y'all can't see. I'm fighting for y'all. We're fighting for y'all. Hear me talking. My God, man, I want you to get it. We're fighting for y'all. Luke, son, 440. Don't compare a man to Jesus Christ. And any time a man want to compare himself to Jesus Christ, get up and get out of there. Amen. All right, folks, you heard him. He said any time a man want to compare himself to Jesus Christ, get out of there. Well, this hypocrite crime, comparing himself to God, because he said, I'm going to say it again. He said, and I got it recorded, and I posted it. Yeah. He said that he knew your thoughts are far off. He said, I knew you were going to say that. I know your thoughts are far off. How can he know that your thoughts are far off? Only God knows that. So he's comparing himself with God. Well, folks, this is it. Y'all, I don't need to go no further. I don't need to hear no further. 
He needed, you know, the Bible said, why judge another when you yourself do the same thing? How he going to judge Geno Janet, even though Geno Janet is a false prophet? But he derived under, from underneath a false prophet. So now he's a, a, a false prophet also. So uh, now, uh, uh, now he's sitting there. He's trying to condemn him. But the Bible said, why judge another when you yourself do the same thing? thing so he's doing the same thing uh geno jenner's line so is he line and he derived from under geno jenner plain and simple all right folks this is all 264 signing off peace